15 years now since I first fished in Hungary. And back then I fished one of the big public waters in the south of the country. And we flew in and, and got a coach, hired a coach to take us to the lake and back to the airport. And it was on the way back that we passed this huge expanse of water. And uh, we all looked in amazement as we passed it. And we uh, found out it was Lake Balaton. Now, it looked an impossible sort of prospect to even think about fishing this for carp. But as always, you know, it stayed in my mind. And those big waters somehow fired the imagination. And, uh, I always said that one day I'd love to come back and uh, have a proper go. Well, it's taken me 15 years since that first sight. Um, but I've made it back and I'm here on Lake Balaton and uh, I'm here to catch some of the car. Well, we're doing things a little bit different for this trip. Um, Catch Carp Hungary have actually got access to three properties around Balaton and uh, all sort of angler friendly really. Um, but Tiller's got his wife and, and two children with him so uh, we've rented one of these properties for the trip. Uh, he's got the upper floor, we've got the bottom floor which are both fully equipped and uh, the beauty is you know it's right next to the swim so a little bit of luxury still got the Vivian beds in the car if you want to sleep out here but um, you know you can actually fish from the property so that's what we're going to do at last it was time to get fishing so me and Attila both went out in the boats armed with a bucket full of Scopet squid boilies and we spread about 10 kilos each over our areas at 250 metres range. It was really looking good for that first night but unfortunately the fishing was short lived as the, the famous Balaton storms moved in and the winds wiped out all of our gear that night and in the morning, well, take a look for yourselves. When the weather did improve slightly, it was Attila who got into the first fish of the session. So, here we go. It's our first fish. 12 kilo. It's a lovely welcome, I think. Do you like it, Daddy? Okay, we like it. This one back to your friends. Don't actually know too much about the lake and the fishing as yet, but um, what I do know is that there's quite a few uh, small fish in there. It is known for those. So with that in mind, I have made a, a bag full of donkey chokers. <laughs> great big baits, um, just literally uh, with Scopex squid mix and uh, they're glugged in Scopex squid liquid. But they are big ones, so probably 40, 45 mil, something like that. And uh, yeah, they might seem big, but they might actually help get through to the bigger fish. 
Um, I don't know if it's going to work here because there are big fish out here, apparently 800 metres up the lake. Um, there was a, a common out just over 60 pound a few days ago. So, who knows? That might have 60 pound written on it. <laughs> we'll see anyway. I'll go, I'm going to give them a go. And uh, like I say, it might help get through to some of those bigger fish that are out there. Well, first one. Well, I don't think it's a big one. In fact, it's definitely not a big one. Oh, big boil is meant to be for big fish. That's the aim, but it doesn't always work that way. I think this little one head eye is bigger than his belly. Um, but very happy all the same. My first Balaton carp. I've uh, just seen the tiller catch one probably about three or four times the size of this one. There we go, first one. First one from the lake. Uh, first of many, hopefully. And uh, hopefully a little bit bigger. <laughs> but um, yeah, always pleased to get the first one. So there we go. Might only get one rod out. Big lead, big boily. Let's see how we get on. Well, my marker stayed put anyway, so that's good news. So, you know, there's nothing precise about this fish. In the bottom's the same, pretty much all over. So it's it's all about just getting bait onto an area and uh, waiting for the fish to come through. plenty of bait out yesterday so there's no need for loads it's all going to still be out there unless it's got washed away and there we go the markers stay put which is the important thing Well, second fish, got some old battle scars on his side there, got them both sides actually. But uh, literally just about to go in, have something to eat. It's evening time, getting dark. Lovely warm evening though. The train just going by, if you can hear the noise. <laughs> um, but literally just standing there talking to Attila, one of his rods went off. I've just heard him come back in the boat, so I don't know what he's got. But in the meantime, one of mine went off with this one. So, here we go couple of fish today, things are starting to happen. Mega strong these fish. There we go. Yeah, not massive, just over 20 pounds, 22 pounds, but um, cracking common, hard fighting as you saw. And that was it, yeah big double baits. I've made some really big single baits to use on here um, but it's actually the double scope X squids which seem to be working the best at the moment so uh, you know that's what I'm gonna stick with. 
there we go, nice roundy one. <laughs> Fit and healthy, you'd probably hear the waves crashing behind me, so there's plenty of oxygen in the water and uh, yeah, the fish are really healthy and fighting fit. And uh, yeah, they're hungry at the moment as well, which is handy. So uh, get this one back, get the rod back out. There'll be more to come today for sure. Sure enough, as we got the spots established and kept the bait going in, the action really did increase and we started really getting amongst the fish. But it was Attila that got the best prize when he landed a superb comet from his swim just down the bank from there. Look at that one. How great that fish is. Fighting machine. I'm very pleased, I have to say. Oh. Well, it is an absolutely cracking day today. Nice and warm and sunny, not too windy either. And I've been in and out in the boat plenty of times. Um, there are actually measures in place on here to make sure that it's safe to go out because you know it's a massive piece of water and uh, conditions change very quickly on here as I've seen. Now various points around the lake there are flashing lights which have three different settings basically not flashing at all, flashing slowly and flashing fast uh, which goes from being perfectly safe to go out with caution to when it's flashing fast stay off the lake basically. Um, but there's also an app that you get for the phone which is even better really because if you can't see the lights you can always see the app and uh, so it's worth checking every time before you go out because even though it might be perfectly nice here in another section there might be a big storm raging and they see it coming so it's all done for our own safety uh, and also different sections could be different levels at different times could be red up there yellow down there green in the middle, you know, something like that, um, but, you know, just know which section you're in and uh, check it every time, you know, it's basically it's all done for our own safety, so it's, it's worth looking out for. Well, this is one of the things I don't understand, actually. I was just thinking it would be perfect to go out and do a rod now. You know, it's absolutely flat calm. Mm. Looks lovely out there. And I looked at the app, and it says red zone. Not That's allowed correct. to go out on the water. Do you want to explain why? Because it, it baffles me. Well, yeah, <laughs> if, you, if, if you look over there, it, the, the light is actually flashing. That's, that's, yeah. that's, you can see a more part as well that uh, the second level is on. The thing is, as the system works, it really would like to show in advance that the storm is coming. So whoever is on the water does have time to get out, it's not flashing it, you know, uh, so fast when okay. the storm is actually here, yeah. because then you're kind of panicking. And if we look over there, we can see already clouds building up. And of course, we don't know what it will bring. But I heard in the news that around Budapest is already heavy rain uh, and stormy. Right, okay, so maybe this okay. one is shifting towards us. And the white now is really calm, very nice. But it could happen then half an hour later uh, we have a storm. And uh, you know, if they would just show it much later, it can happen that you really do not have the time to, to, to come. Okay, yeah. that, that's the reason for but it's weird because <laughs> everybody would say why it's perfect let's go yeah, out yeah that was what I thought and that's what I thought I'd ask but 
it makes sense what you're saying because you could be a long way out just rowing three, exactly. four hundred meters. I mean, not everyone has like an electric engine or something. You, you might just rowing yeah. and that really takes time to, to come back to the coast. And they want to make sure everyone's off before the storm arrives, even yeah. though it looks perfect now and I yeah. could get my rod out. But and it, it also, yeah. of course, happens it, it will avoid us, you know, but just yeah. stay on the safe side. And then I suppose so, yeah, lives are more important than fishing. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay, some people will argue. <laughs> argue. Yeah, no, but yeah, it, I understand. Okay, I'll stay here. Okay, so that was the reason for that. Yeah, oh, well, thanks for explaining it. it was, yeah, it, it sure. was puzzling. But I know many people who, who come here um, in their country or other lakes. This is really unusual kind of thing. Well, the Very system. unusual, yes. Yeah, so it's, the first it's time. hard to understand and, uh, you know, uh, expect, accept this, then, then you shouldn't go in the water in these conditions. Yeah. But that's how the rules are here, I suppose. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What was it, 10 minutes to real talk? Where it was not to all it was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And now I now. understand what it's all about. Yeah, because literally we sat here and it's flat calm, but why can't we go on the boat? Now you see why. Yeah, A few that's minutes what. and this is how it looks. Quite choppy out here today, but the weather app shows it's only a, a yellow warning, so I'm allowed to get the rods out. So that's what I'm going to do. Just something slightly different on the rig front for this trip. <clears throat> and really, uh, one of the Hungarian guys, Zoltan, <clears throat> he showed me something along these lines. So, I've, and it seemed like a good idea actually. So, I've, I've rigged up with that in mind, uh, with a couple of my own little touches on it. Basically, what I've got is a diffusion camo leader, because there's quite a few muscles and different bits and pieces out there. So, it's a good abrasion resistance sort of end to the line and soft for the fish. Um, 
But what I've got, I've got the uh, heavy duty uh, leg clip and the, the sleeve on there, um, but with the pin left out. And reason being, it's, it's not a running rig as such, you can pull that into the, the clip and it takes a little bit of pulling out, but once it's out, it is then basically running. And what that does, because it's quite soft silt out there, and the lead plugs into the silt. And uh, see, when you get a run, because there's quite a few people fishing along the bank either side, and you don't really want the fish kiting too much. Um, but because the lead's plugged in the silt, when you get a run, that pops out, the fish runs off and the lead stays where it is. So you can sort of hold the fish in an area till you get out in the boat. Or if you play them from the bank, you basically bring them back to the lead first before you unplug the lead. So um, it's a good system. And uh, the other bonus of it is you, you hardly lose any leads this way as well. Um, it doesn't shift the lead so much. But for that reason, uh, on the end of the, the sleeve, uh, I've snipped the end off, which uh, gives the, the end part of the, the sleeve a bigger bore. Um, so what that does is it slides over the knots easy enough. So in the event of a breakage or anything that will literally just slide right off over the end of everything um, so it's you know it's a safe rig and uh, you know it's, it's quite a good rig to use in this situation it would seem so um, that's it you know the rest of it is is pretty sort of normal stuff uh, but that one little sort of adaption down there just just for this situation Yeah, just on dark and not massive fish, but um, a nice one. They're all crackers. I've had a couple of mirrors, but mainly commons. But um, yeah, bristling this one is. The action was increasing all the time and the more bait we put out, the more action we got. And Attila and I were happy enough to go with that. So every opportunity we got out in the boat, got the rigs back out, got more bait out and the action kept coming. Yeah, the mirrors are certainly outnumbered by the commons, so uh, it's always nice when one turns up. And uh, yeah, nice chunky one this. Felt a bit better, so I went out in the boat. Um, I like playing them from the platform, but there's a lot of weed in the edge that they get stuck in, so it's a bit safer in the boat. But there we go. We've got a lot more bait in, and uh, the fish are responding. I think this is six or seven this morning. Well, it's eight o'clock in the morning now, and uh, between half past one and now, 
We've had seven fish and I'm absolutely shattered. But uh, I'll tell you what, this little one was amongst them. Uh, and if I ever get fed up with catching fish like this, then it's time to give up, I reckon. Because it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at beauty. Must be eight or nine fish now, mostly on the same rod edge. Actually on the single bait. Uh, the double bait did just go off. Just so I netted this one with, with a little pasty, but uh, the single bait's done it proud and uh, yeah, yeah, lovely 30 pound common, just over 30 pound. So I'm well pleased with that. Did half scrap as well. Felt like a ton weight on the other end. Had to go in the boat for this one. But this is lovely, well pleased with this one. Nice Balaton common, Balaton 30. In amongst all of the action, we turned around one day and look who was there. It was none other than Ollie and Alan. Passing through on their way to far off countries, but stopped in to say hello. Proving once again, it really is a small world out there. Yeah. Oh, there's Alan. Well, it's a bit choppy out there now for sure, but these are fantastic conditions really. Um, we've had five this morning, it's about half past seven now and we've had five between us since about four o'clock so it's fishing well. Got a lot more bait out there last night so that's certainly working and uh, just check, I know it's choppy out there, um, yeah it's still showing yellow yellow and green sort of signals so it's, it's safe enough to get, get the rods back out so I certainly have no problem getting the rods back out in this. Um, but yeah, it's happening, that's the main thing. It's can't be conditions and the fish are having it. So yeah, this is what we want. This is, these are prime conditions now. Um, they have forecast storms this afternoon, so I think they're just moving in. We've had a, a little burst of action, a couple of small commons, and uh, this one was a better one. Give a good scrap and uh, well, joint effort between me and Joan this one, getting it in from the bank. You know, with, when the storms come in, they don't let you go out on the lake, so when the next couple of runs go off, that'll be it for the afternoon probably. But, um, well, all the time they're out, we're catching, so happy days. <laughs> this one is absolutely gorgeous. Talk about peak condition. Colour of that, orange in its tail. Things perfect, scale perfect. God, these ballots on carp are absolutely gorgeous. And they fight like a good one and all. Wow, look at this lovely mirror. It was very nice to catch. Really strong one as well. And you know, eventually now, conditions are also perfect for anglers. It's very nice, calm, sunny, really beautiful day and then such a fish comes along. It really made my day. Yeah, it's a shame you never got the, the run on film really, is it was an absolute belt of this one. <laughs> and uh, I guess it might be bigger than the, the sort of run of the mill what we've been getting today. And there we go, it's got an absolute cracking common. Uh, yeah, just short of £30 pound, this one. So, let's not get this one back and uh, get the rods back out and a bit more bait out there as well because they are hungry fish, these ones. But lovely.
Well, there we go, just the last few jobs to do, the mucky ones, uh, and we'll be on our way back to England. Uh, but what a great trip it's been, it's been an absolutely lovely year, um, everything I hoped it would be, so thanks to Attila and Catch Carp Hungry for that. Uh, I don't know how many fish we've had, well over 100, probably nearer 200. Whew, so it's been hectic, but it's been great fun. This lake is absolutely fantastic, and I'll certainly be back again. Uh, won't be too long either, hopefully. But there we go, all good things come to an end, and this trip's over. But, um, well, there we go. I'll see you next time.